Utah, folks. We got gold trading up by five bucks out at 1302. Let's go out to uh, Park City, Utah, and speak with Peter about gold. Peter, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Hey, oh, not a problem, Steve. Thank you. Um, yeah. Hey, just uh, uh, several random questions, like kind of a okay. little longer term historical view on gold. And it's only a few months, but are we looking yes. at a potential where gold's just going to stay flat till late July, early August? And then why, why maybe July at or that August? point in time, take a bid. And the why? second question is, um, going back to 08, when you know the market started to crash, and basically the only value that people could get was selling gold. So as a result, it tanked while I was in Shanghai. I'm like, oh, it was lovely. Um, so my question is, is Gold being suppressed a little bit on the fear of what occurred before, and we just, you know, those in that market are just questioning whether it could occur again. Two questions. So, <laughs> sure, sure. So let's see if I can let's see if I can it can help to answer at least give you my viewpoint on what gold yeah. is is or isn't doing. And so the larger picture, I'd like to try to get the larger picture correct if I can. And that is as a uh, follow. So just give me one moment here to try to Oh, you're good. Punch you're, you take your time. No problem. Yeah, I'm just uh we're in June, so I think this is going to be the right page that pops up. Well, okay, the so the August with, contract at the earliest, but Yeah, yeah, I wanted to get the big picture. So there's two big picture things okay. that I've been looking at. The first one, Peter, is that uh, back in 2003, uh, this is the monthly continuous contract that I'm taking a look at. Oh, there was wow. a beautiful <laughs> signal that was uh, <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, no, I was looking at your first screen which uh, the black one that had stuff going straight up and straight down, I'm like wow. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll go take a look. We'll go take a look at that. That's how I kind of feed right into it. So, okay, perfect. A, earlier in the year, um, and it was in January, um, I was uh, I was looking at a pattern that was similar to back to the 2002 2003 time frame, and that is there's a phenomena when the price oscillator difference between two exponential moving averages, 19 mm -hmm. and 39, or what I use, when that gets to zero, you then start take a look at price and Stevie's red line, and a positive test of that actually took place. Um, if I can try to find the actual date, the, uh, uh, was back in uh, 2000. And all right, I'm not. It's not going to let me do it. Um, it was where my arrow was pointing on the screen. August yeah, 2000, so it's like roughly December, January of, of uh, 18. Yeah, and we got yeah. that same pattern. Oh, yeah. that exact same pattern took place here in January of uh, 2017. Monthly chart that we're looking at. So that said, okay, based on that, um, it looked like gold was getting ready to take off topside. Bigger picture. That still is in play, and it's in play as long as price stays above my red line, which is basically where we're trading right now. So that's a big picture out here. Mm -hmm. Gold yeah. on a monthly base has a rising price oscillator above zero. But this chart here that you were looking at, gold is not going to do anything in U.S. dollars <laughs> until it's ready to do anything in every major currency. So whether right. that's euros, which is panel two, or whether that's yen panel yep. three, or whether that is Great British Pounds panel four, gold has to be moving higher. Any asset has to be moving higher because the global flow of capital is going into that instrument, whatever it might be. It can be an indice. Mm -hmm. It can be a commodity such as gold. And so that's the larger picture. We do not have that right now. We do not have gold. Right. No, no. And you're, you're, you're by the way, you're... Uh... Uh, your webinar was awesome on that. Just thank you. <laughs> thank you. Know. Appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. And and if we take a look at gold in dollars, that's what this chart is. So now we're just kind of sizing down. We're going from bigger picture monthly to where we're at right now. You know, gold can't even get above thirteen oh eight sixty, and thirteen oh eight sixty is the May first. So to answer your question, is it possible we're just going to go sideways? Well, when we break down gold on a daily basis in terms of euros, yen, and pounds out here, yeah, that's really what the signal is. It's certainly not a unanimous vote to go higher. Um, and so now I don't know why you picked out the June or July time frame. Not that that's a big issue. You mentioned that. Well, it's I a can't historical, really historical 
going into uh, August and you have the Indian markets and stuff starting to buy. Okay. So historically, okay. that time frame at least puts, I guess the best way to put it, at least puts a floor. Yeah. So at this stage here, I kind of consider the metal itself to be dead money. It's just uh -huh. going sideways. I believe your conclusion is accurate. Right now we're trading in a range between the uh, May 25th high and the low out here on May 21st. Maybe it's going to break to the upside or the downside, but right now it's just a but sideways. But it's going to break far. <laughs> like, I think that's the reality. Um, it could... I can absolutely make the case, just in an A to B equals CD to the downside, that uh, mm -hmm. gold could break pretty hard to the downside because we know gold will typically do more than a one-to-one -one level. And so mm -hmm. instead of 1264 being a downside target, 1245 and 1222 um, are, are really wide open. I'm not forecasting that just yet, but uh, because on a daily basis, gold still hasn't busted out. It's uh, the bottom of its TAS market profile. And that level that people should be paying attention to, let me get back to that. That'll take just a moment. That level is uh, priced at 1291.30. Peter, I think if there's a close below 1291.30, and what gold has done so far today is made it up to the top of its TAS daily profile. If you're a short-term intraday trader, you needed to be aware that 1304.80, which is basically the high, 1304.80, exactly the high, that that was running into resistance. Doesn't mean you have to go, it means to tighten up your stop. If price can get above that level, okay, great. Then then it has higher to run back to the prior swing point, maybe back to that consolidation area that you and I just looked at. But right now, mm -hmm. gold has run into to resistance. And I I just, I, I'm looking, I keep looking. And, you know, for... <laughs> that I know. So I guess, looking at it really quickly, though, the question I would then give you one more and I can hang up and you can take it after a break. Or That's okay. There's You've got the floor. The euro. the euro is actually stepping up a little bit. And... Yeah, I think that gold, gold priced in euros, when we go back and we take a look at it, gold priced in euros, you know, has done a better job than any other currency at this stage. But what it failed to do was get up to its uh, swing point from September the 5th out here. And right now it's come back to support. So support was a break above a prior swing point. I'm using November 7th. That's panel number two. We saw a break above that on May 24th. Uh, this morning, price and yesterday, price pulled back to test that. But this is also just range bound out here. So again, I just don't see a a ton in it. And as yeah, as you know, not 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 the right time at the moment. Yeah, I went through, I was surprised. I guess I shouldn't have been surprised. I went through all of the mining equities, as you know. And after going through those, I was like, okay, we don't want to be here. It, I, I just didn't, I just didn't see the mining equities, especially the top five behaving very well. So, yeah, I just don't see it right now. If things change tomorrow, um, then we'll know. Next month or two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, right, Steve, Peter. thanks so much. I appreciate it. Okay, thanks for calling. That was Peter in Park City.